Rick Ross is really good at beef. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's really, I'm impressed. Like, I didn't even listen to the song. I like tried to listen to it. I didn't, I, it kind of sucked I, or yeah. it was good. I didn't even know it didn't, it didn't. But he is on that ass nonstop, yeah, yeah. incessantly. And it's like, there's, he's almost Eminem'd it where like, you can't say anything about it. Like calling him fat, he's like, I know I'm fat. I have my shirt off all the time. I yeah. have my fucking tits out everywhere. Like yeah. there's nothing you can really say. Pears. I eat pear. <laughs> he's made fun of his diet. He's made fun of everything about him. But he's really good at like creating like monikers and names. Yeah. Like mm. he's fucking efficient at beef. Yeah. yeah. And the beef ain't even with him. <laughs> did like did Drake mention him that Drake much? Drake did mention him. Did yeah. not much, but it was just they have an issue with women like i think there's a lot of pillow talking that's been going on and that's because what does pillow talking mean like if two guys slept with the same girl and now this girl goes and tells the other guy stuff that you guys spoke about i don't know if this is on patreon but do you remember when i we had this conversation when i was like yo the same thousand girls yeah. are getting fucked by everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. was it on public episode yeah. Yeah. yeah that is the cause of all this beef yeah, yeah. So thank them bitches, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to OnlyFans. All the joy you're getting is from these OnlyFans bitches that every dude is fucking and they're all upset about it. The fragility of the ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's pillow talk going on. So there's um one of Rick Ross's exes. Man, imagine Rick Ross laying on your girl. She all warm when you get there. <laughs> she, yeah. It's like a, like a toilet yeah, seat. Like, like, she, she, she's in a slanket or whatever that shit is. What was that thing that you could walk around in all day? Snuggy. No, snuggy. 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 There's a yeah. slanket also, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But like a few months back, Rick Ross was one of his exes, and she was just, she's going crazy online, like trying to air him out just because they had a bad breakup. Okay. And she was saying that, oh, Ross doesn't even like Drake. He talks shit about him. And we thought she was just bullshitting. But it turns out that was all true. Because you can tell Ross has been waiting for this. He's been wanting Son, to go out. He is hungry. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. nonstop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what did you say? He always, he's always, always yeah. hungry. Yeah. But he's not. It's like every single post on Instagram. Yeah. And then Drake got to kind of respond to it because Ross isn't a peon. Ross is one of the biggest names in music. Yeah. And somehow he beat the CO charges. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, he took a play out of 50's book because both of them, when, they, when they're beefing, they're relentless. They're yeah. relentless. That's what I was going to say. It's reminiscent of 50 nonsense. Yeah. Where it's just every social media post is so funny. Oh comes through it. But what makes him good? What do you feel like he's doing this? Like he is having fun. Yes. Mm. He is smiling. Mm. He's so silly. He's a cartoon. He should be like a villain in The Incredibles. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? He's just out there and he has these beautiful fucking veneers and every post he's smiling. <laughs> and you can't not look at him. He's yeah. got face tattoos. His chest is out. He's silly no matter what he does. He's performing at a prom. Most people would be embarrassed to do that yeah. during a beef. He wears a Drake shirt and leans in. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a plywood floor. Yeah. Drake tries to take a shot and it doesn't, he has like an invincibility to him. Because he doesn't care. I'm not affected by any. Bro. So in his response, when Drake dropped the diss, he's just laughing on IG stories. Yeah. He's laughing in the <laughs> studio. And then two hours later, he was Yeah, stuck. and nobody cares about the song. He didn't yeah. even need to put out a song. Well, the song wasn't, the, the th stuff that stuck was at the end of the song when he just talked. Talking. Yeah. Those were the shots. Yeah. The song didn't have shots, really. I don't even bars. remember. I, I just remember now when he's going, he just keeps calling him white, white boy. boy. <laughs> so that shit is hilarious. It's funny. So it's the simplicity. You yeah. think of BBL Drake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a fake nose. His nose looks, looks the same. same. I, I don't yeah. think he got a fake nose. Yeah. But saying it. It's hysterical. Yeah, and now I'm questioning. <laughs> now you're like, did he get a fake nose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm like, can I? If you look at <laughs> where do you get these fake noses at? How do you take off this amount of time for recovery? I mean, said he, he got fake abs. That's why you're wearing that shit on tour. He's making fun of Drake's body. Which is hysterical. So <laughs> funny. The idea that he would talk about physique. He said, you got 25% body fat, but you still got sculpted ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. BBL Drake yeah. is crazy. Unbelievable. So he's he's fantastic at making these monikers. And now he's he's almost, he's got this like gravitational pull, right? And now the beef seems less with Kendrick, even though that's what we want. We that's want the bars for Kendrick. The Kendrick bars feels like it's gonna bail out Drake from this Rick Ross smoke. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm, possibly. Because Maybe I don't think Kendrick can do this daily Instagram no. taunting no. the way Rick Ross can. No. I think no. Kendrick is like, he's got his easel, 
and he's got his oil paints, and he's trying to make his beautiful painting. He's yeah. trying to Bob Ross it. Mm. But the Rick Ross, that's <laughs> Bob. <laughs> you don't want to wake up on Instagram to mentions every day. He's Gallagher, and Drake is the watermelon. <laughs> 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 Relentless, every show, bang, bang. And he actually caused Drake's probably only misstep of the weekend, because he puts out a screenshot of the text that he sends his mom. Yeah. Because his mom was like, oh, I'm here, and you got a no job. I think it was a doctor text. I don't think it's actually his mom. Yo, mom, mom, text me this. Yeah. And I'm going to respond. Even and so it was so corny. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, mom, he's racist and he's um, he's on some Monjaro. Monjaro, some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. He's grumpy and shit. But I'm like, you trying to play the race card? You're half white, half black. Yeah. And you're calling this guy racist. Like, yeah. and you're saying it to your mom. It was just such the corniest play. Yeah. But the diss track towards everybody, I give him that. That was. Yo, great. 